high. So I hope you remember that in the last video, we talked about what is molarity, right? We uh, talked about the formula of molarity that is moles upon volume of solution. And at the end, we gave ourselves a slightly different kind of problem. And we also understood that it could be solved with the help of something called a dilution formula. So what was the problem? So we are provided with a solution of 14.8 molar NH3. And we were asked how many milliliters of the solution should you have to take to have 100 ml of 1 molar NH3 when diluted. Now, you must understand one key thing here, which is the base of our us solving the problem, that while we are diluting, so while we think of diluting any solution, the moles, right, the number of moles have not changed at all, right? So let's again write what is molarity, that is moles upon volume. So because the number of moles have not changed when you are diluting it, so I can write molarity, it's not, capital M is representing my molarity into volume is equal to number of moles which is constant before and after dilution. So on the basis of that principle, if you are taking a 14.8 molar solution, you don't know how many milliliters you should be taking. So let's just say V initial, how many, how much volume of that you should take so that you have a different molarity, one molar, and you should have the final volume to be 100 ml, right? Now, if here, what you can do is, if you write one side ml, the other side can also be ml. That's okay, right? So let's calculate for VI, that is V initial. This is your V final. So one times 100 upon 14.8. Now, if you do the maths, that comes out to be 6.76 ml. Now, remember, because we took ml here, that is why this also comes out to be ml. Let's just solve one more problem, the same principle, so that we have a fair idea of both of them. So again, you have to, uh, we have a solution of 1.5 molar sulfuric acid. Let's first write our principle M initial V initial equals M final V final because the number of moles have not changed. So how many milliliters of this acid? So M initial is 1.5. We do not know the V initial that we must take so that we have an M final 0 0.18 and the volume should be 100. So V initial that you require is 0 0.18 times 100 upon 1.5. Again, if you do the maths, it comes around 12 ml. So you see, it's pretty simple. I hope this helps. We hope you like this video. Press subscribe, thumbs up, and stay geekly.